All right, guys, Ahmed here from Vital Educator again. So right now I'm in, as you can see, these old stone walls, stunning scenery. I'm in Christchurch. I've had a chance to actually walk through Christchurch Meadows, which I will show you when I get back out again. Uh, but yeah, I'm in Christchurch, which is one of the most iconic colleges here in Oxford. And I will show you what it looks like. But before we do that, again, please share this video and subscribe to the channel as it really helps out. And uh, yeah, let's get into it. In this video, I will show you one of the best colleges and well-known colleges of Oxford called Christchurch. From its medieval hall, we'll go to the tower and see some other obscure places. So let's get into it. So the entry to the college is around £10 for visitors who are not part of the university. I access these stairs to go to the Great Hall. The Great Hall itself is a sight to behold. Until 1870s, this was the largest hall in Oxford. This title was then overtaken by Keeble College. So behind me is the Henry VIII right there. And then you've got Queen Elizabeth the first right there. So this is Christ's Hall. And I was speaking to the lady up there as well. She told me that there was, um, Albert Einstein actually came here after the war when he had won the Nobel Prize and stayed here for a couple of months as a student. So he was a student at Christchurch. I had no idea. But look at this and this work on the walls. When you come over here, seriously, really spend some time and take in the beauty of how stunning this place actually is. Wow. And of course, all the other, um, I suppose, people, famous people, or and also the wardens of this college, and their portraits are hanging around, and it's absolutely stunning. Stunning place to be. After visiting the hall, I decided to make my way towards the most iconic view of Christchurch, which is its bell tower, called the Tom Tower. The tower also marks the entry point to the college. The tower is accompanied by this quad, which is the largest quad in Oxford. So here at the iconic Christchurch College, and you can see the tower that people rave about. It is not as big as New College, of course, and of course I have affiliation with New College, so you know anybody who's watching. I am very, very much so biased, but, uh, but yeah, it's a stunning place. Absolutely stunning, beautiful. As a visitor, I think today, especially, you're not allowed to walk on those, not allowed, even like, allowed to cross this part, but that gentleman is doing it because, well, I suppose he's part of the college. But yeah, um, a lot of people think about this college as a, one of the most, I suppose, Tory driven college. Um, it has produced a lot of uh, Tory Prime Ministers as well. Uh, when you look at uh, Wikipedia, I suppose. Um, so yeah, stunning place as usual. And I would love for you guys to come here and see it for yourself. It's even better than what the camera shows you, 100%. After marveling at this iconic view and taking loads of videos and pictures, I decided to explore other areas of this college, which conveniently led me to the Fell Tower, named after this college's greatest dean. Monument of John Fell can also be seen outside the tower. After crossing the Fell Tower, you end up at the library, which looked absolutely stunning. The library holds one of the largest collection of old printed books outside of the Bodleian Library in all of Oxford. After that, I made my way to the Peckwater Quad, which is the second largest quad in Christchurch. Buildings around the quad were built in 1246, which serves as student housing for undergraduates. And it is one of the earliest examples of Neo-Palladian architecture. This is also the spot where you'll see two ducks hanging around. They are college pets called Tom and Peck. I intended to show you guys the cathedral today as well, but they said that uh, it's closed because there's a wedding going on. So unfortunately, you won't be able to see any of that anyway. So right now I'm actually going to the cloisters. So these guys also have a cloister, cloisters, cloister, and then we'll sort of find out what it looks like as well. So let's go. Built in the late 15th century, cloisters served a crucial role providing shelters to the monastery monks. 
it offers a tinge of spirit in otherwise secular environment. I must say, cloisters at uh, Christchurch are quite underwhelming. Of course, they're under renovation as well. But compared to New College, come on, come on. Uh, even compared to Maudlin, Maudlin has amazing cloisters. Uh, I haven't really shown you that, but uh, put it in the comments below whether you want me to go to see Maudlin and show you Maudlin as well. All right? From the inside, these, they look absolutely stunning. And of course, remind you very much of Harry Potter, and hence why this college is so famous. Actually, the most visited college here in Oxford. Um, and they look medieval, and it's like I'm in Hogwarts, basically. A college like this, nothing can beat, honestly. Absolutely stunning. And of course, these, these are the, um, some of the people who've been to the college, actually lost their lives. Um, because I'm looking at uh, this one here. Actually, somebody's gonna go up there. Don't know who, but uh, looking at uh, William L. Green, who has who was lost at sea with the RAF. Uh, so he's the military, basically, an undergraduate between 1966 and 1969. So clearly, people who've done well um, do make it on the walls of this college. And wow, absolutely magnificent. And again, Cloisters also introduced me to the choir, which you can hear right now as well. Um, stunning, melodious, of course, but nothing compared to Magdalen College choir. And uh, even King's College as well was stunning when I went to um, their dinner, which was amazing, uh, to the Evensong. And uh, New College Choir is, again, one of the best in the world as well. But this is quite, quite nice. After seeing the meadow building and the cloisters and not being able to see the cathedral, I decided that it was a good time for me to end the tour. And I will definitely recommend anybody who comes to Oxford check this college out. So that was it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share and subscribe. I'm just coming out of the college. I apologize that I couldn't really show you the cathedral because I would love to, but uh, what I did show you was absolutely magnificent, wasn't it? Um, quite busy place. It's, uh, again, look, people are still going in. It's quite a busy place to be, but come on, come on. Are we kidding? Are we kidding? New college all the way, all day, every day, all right? So please like, share and subscribe and let me know wherever you want me to go. Um, and I'll be more than happy to show you.